Hello everyone, and welcome back to another heartfelt episode on our Nostalgia channel. Today we're presenting a poignant list of beloved celebrities who have recently left us, with their passings announced within the last 24 hours. As always, we have prepared special tributes in our top headline section to honor their legacy. Before we dive in, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin this tribute together. Thank you. Renowned for his unforgettable roles in 77 Sunset Strip and The Adventures of the Wilderness Family, Robert Logan captivated audiences with his charm and talent. Logan, who succeeded Ed Cookie Burns as the hipster valet parking attendant J.R. Hale on the famed ABC detective show, became a household name for his portrayal of Skip Robinson, father who leads his family back to nature in the beloved adventure film series. Born Robert Francis Logan in Brooklyn, New York, as the eldest of eight siblings, he moved with his family to Los Angeles, where he attended Junipero Serra High School. Logan's journey into acting began serendipitously, when a Warner Brothers talent scout discovered him at a restaurant, leading to a contract with the studio. He made his initial mark in the industry with roles on shows like Maverick, Surfside 6, and 77 Sunset Strip. Though he didn't initially play J.R. Hale, he eventually became a series regular, bringing the character to life for the show's final two seasons. Logan's film career soared with The Adventures of the Wilderness Family in 1975, which led to two successful sequels and further solidified his place in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Logan displayed incredible versatility, from starring alongside Fess Parker in Daniel Boone to appearing in John Gillerman's epic Bridge at Remagen. He even ventured into writing with the film Kelly in 1981. In his later years, Logan transitioned from acting to creating documentaries, showcasing his enduring passion for storytelling. Logan's personal life was marked by a deep commitment to his family. He was married to his wife Alina for 39 years and was a dedicated father to his son Anthony and daughter Courtney. He also took great pride in his role as a grandfather to Elsa, Ingrid, and Alma. Robert Logan passed away peacefully in Florida at the age of 82. His legacy lives on through his impactful work in television and film, as well as his contributions to his family and community. Tributes to Robert Logan reflect the profound impact he had on those who knew him and those who were touched by his work. Known for her fearless journalism and unwavering advocacy, Bane Hansen was a trailblazing television reporter and war correspondent whose career spanned several decades. Her significant contributions to the media industry, particularly evident through her investigative reporting and courageous stand against institutional gender inequality. Born in Australia, Hansen began her illustrious career as a reporter for A Current Affair where she earned a reputation for her tenacity and commitment to uncovering the truth. Jane Hansen's work took her to some of the most dangerous places on the planet, reporting from war-torn regions including Bosnia, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Her bravery and dedication to journalism were showcased through her first-hand accounts from these conflict zones, which brought global attention to critical issues and demonstrated her exceptional skills as a correspondent. Hansen's influence extended beyond reporting. In 2008, she co-authored the controversial novel Bond, which exposed the misogynistic culture within the commercial television industry. This fictional work, inspired by real-life events, resonated deeply within the media community and sparked important conversations about gender equality. Hansen's personal life was marked by her resilience and advocacy for social causes. She was particularly passionate about public health, leading pro-vaccination campaigns that influenced policy changes in New South Wales. Her efforts ensured that welfare payments were withheld from parents who did not fully immunize their children and barred anti-vaxxer parents from accessing childcare centers and preschools. Jane Hansen passed away peacefully at the age of 59 after an 18-month battle with an aggressive form of brain cancer. 
Despite her illness, she remained resilient and continued to inspire those around her with her unwavering spirit and sense of humor. Hansen's legacy lives on through her impactful work and the positive changes she championed. Her contributions to journalism and public health will continue to influence future generations, and tributes to Jane Hansen reflect the profound impact she had on both her peers and the public. Renowned for her pioneering contributions to English education and Christian media in Asia, Doris Brougham was a beacon of dedication and innovation. She founded Studio Classroom, an English teaching program that reached hundreds of thousands across Asia, and Heavenly Melody, first Chinese Christian choir composing original music. Born in Seattle, Washington, Doris Brougham's early resolve to help people in the Far East led her to an extraordinary life of service and impact. Brougham moved to China in 1948 after graduating from the University of Washington with a BA in Far East Studies. Following the Chinese Civil War, she relocated to Taiwan in 1951, where she worked with the Atayal tribe, earning the name Libek, meaning Lily of the Valley. In 1960, she founded Overseas Radio and Television Inc., ORTV, believing media to be a powerful tool for education and influence. This vision led to the creation of Studio Classroom in 1962, a revolutionary English teaching radio program that expanded into three distinct programs with accompanying magazines, Studio Classroom, Let's Talk in English, and Advance. Her musical talents were equally remarkable. A brass instrumentalist specializing in the trumpet, French horn and trombone, Brugham produced Taiwan's first Christian TV program, Heavenly Melody, in 1963 program's choir, the Heavenly Melody Singers, gained international acclaim, holding concerts in 34 countries and spreading their music globally. A lifelong educator and missionary, Broom's contributions were recognized with numerous awards, including Taiwan's highest non-military honor, the Order of Brilliant Star, in 2002. She was one of the first foreigners to receive permanent residence status in Taiwan and became a Taiwanese citizen in May 2023. Seattle? Her hometown declared April 2, 2014 as Doris Brougham Day in her honor. Doris Brougham passed away at the age of 98. Her legacy lives on through the countless lives she touched and the profound impact of her work in education and media. Tributes to Doris Brougham reflect the deep gratitude and admiration felt by all who were inspired by her tireless dedication and visionary spirit. Renowned for representing Hollywood legends Marlon Brando and Marilyn Monroe, J. Ira Conter was a veteran film producer and agent whose impact on the entertainment industry was profound. Born in Chicago, Conter's illustrious career began after his service in the U.S. Navy during World War II. Just 22, he secured an offer for Marlon Brando, leading to a lifelong friendship and professional relationship with the iconic actor. Conter quickly rose through the ranks at MCA, mentored by the legendary Lou Wasserman, and went on to represent a constellation of stars including Grace Kelly, Gene Kelly, Warren Beatty, and Ronald Reagan. When MCA acquired Universal Pictures, Cantor moved to London to oversee European operations. He later formed a production company with Elliot Kastner and Alan Ladd Jr. in Los Angeles, and subsequently joined Ladd at 20th Century Fox, marking the beginning of a prolific filmmaking partnership. Together, they led 20th Century Fox, The Lad Company, and MGM UA, producing classics such as Chariots of Fire, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Alien, Thelma and Louise, Julia, Blade Runner, Body Heat, Norma Ray, Turning Point, The Right Stuff, Star 80, and The Police Academy series. His collaboration with Mel Brooks resulted in comedic gems like Young Frankenstein, Silent Movie, High Anxiety, Spaceballs, and Life Stinks. Cantor was married three times, first to actress Roberta Haynes, then to Judy Balaban, and finally to Kit Bennett Cantor, with whom he shared 49 years until her death in 2014. He faced personal tragedies, including the loss of his daughter Victoria Cantor Coletti. Jay Cantor is survived by his children Dustin and Deborah Bernard, Tom Bernard, Sidney Bernard, Amy Cantor and Bob Thigh, 
Adam and Brooke Cantor, and Michael and Erica Cantor and grandchildren, Jason and Andy Coletti, Matthew Coletti, Owen Thai, Jared Elner, Sophie Bernard, Charlie Foster, Hannah Cantor, Kit Foster, Cleo Cantor, Grayson Cantor, and Ryan Cantor. Jay Cantor passed away peacefully at the age of 97, surrounded by family in his Beverly Hills home. His legacy continues to inspire and shape film industry. Tributes to Jay Cantor reflect the deep respect and admiration held by all who were touched by his extraordinary career and compassionate spirit. His contributions to Hollywood and the lasting relationships he fostered are a testament to a life well lived. Renowned for his contributions to acting and voice dubbing, Roberto Espriusen left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Celebrated for his work in iconic projects such as Ruby and Dragon Ball, Espriusen's talents shone both on screen and behind the microphone. Born on September 22, 1946, in Mexico City, Roberto Espriusen was the son of actors Roberto Espriu and Marua Sen, who were prominent figures in the dubbing industry. From a young age, Roberto showed a profound interest in acting, debuting as a child by lending his voice to the film Journey to the Beginning of Time. In addition to his passion for acting, Espriu pursued an education in engineering. He served as a professor of planning systems at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, UNAM, for over three decades, showcasing his versatility and dedication to both fields. Roberto's acting career spanned numerous soap operas, including Papá a la Deriva, Mejor Muerta que Lichita, Ruby, Los Ricos Tambien Lloran, Libre para Marte, Te amo Juan Querendón, So es Misión de Rescate, Amor y Aventura, and Amar Sin Limiteds. His recent work in melodramas included Por Amar Sin Ley. In theater, he performed in productions like La Venganza de Don Mendo, Don Juan Tenorio, and Cyrano de Bergerac. Espriu's voice acting brought him great acclaim, particularly in the animated series Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT, as well as Ren and Stimpy, Digimon, Zoids, and Gulliver Boy. His voice brought to life characters in over 20 films, including Rocky, Rocky II, Halloween 5, and Children of the Corn. Roberto Espriu Sen passed away at the age of 77. His death was announced by the National Association of Actors of Mexico and UNAM, both expressing deep condolences. Further details of his funeral remain private. Roberto Espriu Sen's legacy continues to influence the fields of acting and education. His remarkable career and dedication to his craft will be remembered by many. Tributes to Roberto Espriu Sen reflect the profound impact he had on those who knew him and those who admired his work. Celebrated television presenter, actor and entertainer, Patrice LaFont left an indelible mark on the media and entertainment industry. Renowned for his charismatic presence and engaging hosting style, LaFont's career spanned several decades, making him a beloved figure in French household. Born on August 21, 1939 in France, Patrice LaFont began his career with a passion for acting in the 1960s. He became a star on stage and screen alongside friends Michel Fugain and Michel Sardou. His vibrant performances captured the hearts of many, setting the stage for his later success in television. In the 1970s, Lafont joined Europe One, where he collaborated with producer Armand Jamot on several programs. His breakthrough in television came as the host of Des Chiffres et des Letters, the French original of the UK's Countdown, which he hosted from 1972 to 1989. His charm and wit endeared him to viewers, establishing him as a household name. Lafont's versatility as a presenter was further showcased when he hosted the French version of Fort Boyard from its inception in 1990 until 1999 and Pyramide from 1990 to 1997. He also hosted Le Bon Genie and a short-lived remake of The Price is Right called Le Juste Duro. In 2001, in 2005, Lafont hosted Interville and presented poker tournaments for Direct 8, demonstrating his adaptability and wide-ranging appeal. Beyond his professional accomplishments, Lafont was a devoted father to Axel Lafont and Mathilde Lafont. His personal life was marked by his warmth and generosity, traits that endeared him to those who knew him best. 
Patrice Lafont passed away from a cardiac arrest in his home at the age of 84. His passing marks the end of an era in French entertainment, but his legacy lives on through the countless lives he touched through his work. Lafont's contributions to television and entertainment continue to influence the industry, and his memory remains cherished by fans and colleagues alike. Tributes to Patrice Lafont reflect the profound impact he had on those who admired his work and those who were fortunate enough to know him personally. Renowned for his exceptional contributions to professional football, Jim Kearney left an everlasting mark on the sport as a safety in the NFL and AFL. Kearney's career spanned 12 seasons, during which he achieved remarkable accolades and established himself as a formidable player. Notably, he was a key player for the Kansas City Chiefs, contributing significantly to their victory in Super Bowl IV. Jim Kearney was born on January 21, 1943, in Wharton, Texas. He began his football journey at Prairie View A&M University, playing as a quarterback. His college career was distinguished not only by his skill, but also by his connection with future Chiefs teammate Otis Taylor. Selected in the 11th round of the 1965 NFL Draft by the Detroit Lions, Ernie's professional career truly blossomed, and he joined the Kansas City Chiefs in 1967. Kearney's tenure with the Chiefs from 1967 to 1975 was marked by numerous highlights. In 1972, he tied an NFL record by returning four interceptions for touchdowns, leading the league with 192 yards on interception returns. Wearing jersey number 46, he became a staple of the Chiefs' defense, known for his agility, strategic play, and unwavering determination. His prowess on the field earned him a spot in the starting lineup of Super Bowl IV, where he played a pivotal role in securing the championship for the Chiefs. Beyond his football career, Kearney dedicated himself to his community. In retirement, he embraced golf and coached Little League football, imparting his knowledge and passion for the game to young athletes in the Kansas City area. Additionally, he served as a science teacher at Washington High School in Kansas City, Kansas, where he inspired countless students with his commitment to education and mentorship. Jim Kearney passed away at the age of 81. His legacy endures through his contributions to football and the positive impact he made on his community. He will be remembered as a champion on and off the field, a testament to his remarkable life and career. Tributes to Jim Kearney reflect the profound respect and admiration held by those who knew him and were inspired by his life's work. Renowned for her exceptional contributions to the art of makeup and film, Lisa Westcott was a British makeup artist whose remarkable work earned her an Academy Award and numerous accolades throughout her illustrious career. Westcott won the Oscar for Best Makeup and Hairstyling for her outstanding work on the 2012 film Le Miserable, sharing the award with Julie Dartnell. Her talent transformed the appearances of stars like Hugh Jackman, Russell Crowe, and Anne Hathaway, bringing their characters to life in a visually captivating way. Born on November 21, 1947, in Oxford, England, Lisa Westcott demonstrated an early passion for makeup artistry, which she pursued with dedication and skill. She earned two consecutive Oscar nominations for her work on Mrs. Brown, 1997, and Shakespeare in Love, 1998, where she meticulously designed the looks of nearly all the characters. Her expertise was further recognized with two BAFTA awards for The Madness of King George and Les Miserables. Westcott's career spanned decades, and she worked on a variety of notable projects. In 2001, she was nominated for a Primetime Emmy for her hairstyling on The Last of the Blonde Bombshells, starring Judi Dench and Ian Holm. Her versatility and makeup artistry were evident in her work on films like Marvel's Captain America The First Avenger, Notes on a Scandal, Fred Claus, Miss Potter, and Iris. A staunch advocate for crew workers' rights, Westcott fought tirelessly to ensure fair treatment and recognition for behind-the-scenes professionals. Her dedication extended beyond her craft, impacting the broader industry in meaningful ways. 
Lisa Westcott passed away peacefully at the age of 76, surrounded by her loving husband Jeremy Ancock and her twin children George Ancock and Harriet Rothwell. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence the field of makeup artistry and beyond. Tributes to Lisa Westcott reflect the deep admiration and respect held by those who knew her and were touched by her extraordinary work. What's trending on the internet? News 1. Kate Middleton's journey from niche speculation to mainstream obsession paints a vivid picture of a broader phenomenon driven by mistrust and skepticism, exacerbated by the echo chambers of social media. Researchers and TikTok influencers alike have observed a perfect storm of factors at play. The gamification of social platforms, dwindling trust in media and government, and the surge in conspiratorial thinking, all magnified by potential bot campaign. In an era where digital narratives can swiftly evolve, Middleton's retreat from the public eye following Christmas, coupled with a mishap involving a doctored photo, became the catalyst for full-blown conspiracy theory. This situation underscores the perilous combination of public curiosity, the power of digital platforms, and the vacuum created by the absence of official communication, a void eagerly filled by conspiracy theorists. Despite Middleton's announcement regarding her cancer diagnosis, these theories persist, morphing into new narratives surrounding the nature of her disclosure. This incident not only highlights the pervasive nature of conspiracy theories in the digital age, but also raises concerns about how easily public figures can become targets of baseless speculation. It calls for a critical examination of our collective relationship with information, and the mechanisms by which we seek and interpret news in the modern world. The relentless scrutiny Middleton faces serves as a poignant reminder of the human cost behind public fascination and the dangers of a digital landscape, where truth is often overshadowed by speculation. Her personal struggle with cancer, instead of garnering widespread empathy, has been distorted by those eager to fit her story into a pre-existing narrative of distrust. This highlights the urgent need for responsible communication and media literacy to navigate an era where misinformation can so easily take root and flourish. News 2. Former Virginia First Lady Roxane Gilmore passed away on Wednesday, August 7th after a prolonged illness. Roxane, the beloved wife of former Governor Jim Gilmore, was celebrated for her unwavering commitment to the state's historical and educational initiative. A graduate of the University of Virginia, she dedicated her career to teaching and later made significant contributions to the preservation of Virginia's heritage, particularly through her involvement with the Jamestown Foundation during her tenure as First Lady. When Jim Gilmore served as governor from 1998, Roxane Gilmore was instrumental in the extensive renovation of the executive mansion, carefully restoring its historical integrity. Her efforts extended beyond the governor's residence, as she played a pivotal role in promoting Virginia's rich historical and cultural site. Governor Glenn Youngkin expressed his condolences, noting her friendly and down-to-earth demeanor, and commended her lasting impact on the state's cultural landscape. Roxane Gilmore's legacy is survived by her husband, their two sons, Jay and Ashton, and a granddaughter. Her dedication to education and cultural preservation leaves an everlasting mark on Virginia's historical community. News 3. Tragic jet ski accident in Arhon Bay, France, claimed the life of a 47-year-old mother after her jet ski collided with another operated by her twin 16-year-old daughters. The incident occurred on Sunday, August 4th, under the supervision of a qualified instructor, underscoring the inherent risks even in controlled conditions. Reports indicate that the mother was accompanied by her 48-year-old partner when the collision happened. Although the exact cause of the accident is still under investigation, it has been suggested that one of the riders may have lost control. Emergency responders arrived swiftly. The mother was pronounced dead at the scene. Her partner suffered injuries, while the twin daughters, who also sustained severe injuries, are reportedly in stable condition and were transported to a hospital in Bordeaux for further medical attention. 
This heartbreaking event highlights the critical importance of safety measures in recreational activities. French law requires jet ski operators to be over 16 and either possess a boat license or be under direct supervision. Following this accident, there have been intensified calls for enhanced safety protocols, including mandatory helmet use and additional training among professionals in the field. Thank you for joining us on this heartfelt journey as we honored the legacies of these beloved celebrities. Their contributions to the world have left an indelible mark, and it is through our shared memories that their spirits continue to live on. We hope these tributes have provided comfort and a sense of connection as we remember the impact they had on our lives. Please continue to support our channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing your favorite memories in the comments below. Until next time, let's cherish the moments we have and keep their memories alive. Thank you for being a part of our nostalgia family.